Talking about taxes and spending, your opponent yesterday said, this was her comment at the debate, she said over the past three years we've had a $300 million in surplus in Erie County taxes. They're taking more out of your pocket than they ever have. We don't need to be spending that much money. With the surplus the way it is and federal funds flowing in, why increase spending by 9% and not do something like she's suggesting, give people some sort of a rebate she, or a tax break? She, she couldn't do it if she was going to have a balanced budget because the increases are all mandated expenses, or mostly mandated expenses, I want to say all. About 75% of the increase is related to mandate expenses. I'll give you a good example of it. I talked about it during the debate. Uh, we just got hit with a $25 million additional cost for our Medicaid. Went up by $25 million, biggest increase that Erie County's had in many years. You can't ignore that. You can't just wish it away or not pay it. You have to pay it. So for her to say, I'd be able to cut and we could still provide all the services is not true because mandated expenses like Medicaid have to be paid. Uh, the state doesn't care whether we do our roads. They don't care whether we do libraries. It doesn't matter to them because it's not mandated whether we invest in parks. Uh, and so you have to provide for the public. We went through that. We went through that before where a county executive said, elect me, or a county executive candidate said, elect me, and I'm going to reduce your taxes and we'll be able to pay for everything. And it created the red green fiscal crisis. It's exactly what happened when Joel Giambra was elected. He said, we can cut your taxes and still pay for all the services. In a very short period of time, they ran out of all their money and they basically drove Erie County to bankruptcy. I was elected the chief financial officer to help clean up that mess. And I've said as county executive, I'm never going back to the bad old days where elected officials are telling the public, we don't have to take any money from you but provide you all the services because in the end, it just doesn't work out. And even her recommendation, oh, I'm going to cut the property tax levy by 9% to offset the increase in the budget. Well, the budget increased by 9%, but you'd have to cut the property tax levy by 50% to reduce it back to the level it was this past year. And you cannot cut the Medicaid, you cannot cut the other mandated expenses. You have to cut the non-mandated expenses like parks, libraries, sheriff's road patrol, the highways. As much as people think it's a mandated expense, roads and highways are not mandated under New York State law. We don't have to provide them, but we do. So uh, she just didn't understand the issue or is being disingenuous in saying something that she thinks the public is going to like because politically it might sound good, but it uh, actually is impossible to do and have a balanced budget.